Hi, everybody, and welcome to Martin and Zach at the Movies. I'm Martin. Hi, I'm Zach. And I know it's been a while since we posted a video. Well, like a week or so. Uh, it's been two weeks since we filmed one, so yeah. Yeah. Right, that's because we film one doesn't mean we don't po we post it right away. So uh, we're going to talk about two things today. Two. Two things. Dos. Today. The first one is a movie we saw at the advanced showing <laughs> of it way back two weeks ago. Yeah. And that is Gangster Squad. Yeah, it's a good one. It was good. It was really good. Um, like I said, it's been like two weeks since we saw it. Yeah. So, um, no, it was good. I liked Josh Brolin was great. Yeah. I liked the narrative. I liked the design. I said this to Zach at the movie. It felt like a um, modernized, like Dick Tracy almost. Yeah. Even though they were both set in the same time period, it felt like. If they would remake Dick Tracy today, it would look a lot like Gangster Squad. It was really good. I uh, I liked Sean Penn. Sean Penn. I thought he did a very, very great job. He did. Uh, Emma Stone did good. Uh, Ryan Gosling was... Ryan Gosling. He was. He, he was... played himself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and uh, it was just a really good movie. It was it was really well paced too. Yeah, I mean, it had its predictable elements that all movies have, but you know, you were okay with that. Yeah, and it wasn't like you were actually interested in what was going on. You were interested in seeing how they were going to bring down the Cohen character, Sean, portrayed by Sean Penn. Yeah. Uh, what I find funny, and I found this funny in the credits. The end credits are scrolling, and they're going through like Josh Brolin. Ryan Gosling, Sean Penn as Mickey Cohen, and then there's yeah. like five other credits. Even though that and Sean Penn as Mickey Cohen should probably have been at the end. Yeah. But I just like that they had to say who he was. Yes, yeah. <laughs> like because no one knows who Sean Penn is in. It was like the dude Sean won an Penn Oscar. was in this movie. Seriously, the dude won an Oscar, and now we're si now they're sitting there going and featuring Sean Penn. Now, of course, this movie was one of the ones pushed back. It was supposed to be released. In 2012, yeah. but got pushed back because they reshot an entire sequence of this movie. Yeah, because of uh, the Batman Dark Knight Rises incident. Yeah, because they had a whole scene of them in a theater. Yeah, in a theater and having a shootout in a theater. Yeah, they totally scrapped that, reshot that bit, and that's why I got pushed back to January. Uh, which I think I don't know if that's good for them or not because if you're trying to be an award movie and this one seemed like it kind of wanted it, it to be tried to, it tried to be it an award movie. tried to be one of those movies that looked for the Oscar noms and all that a January release isn't that good because by the time you actually get to the nominations you've got almost an entire year yeah you got so much packed into that year that people yeah for kind of kind of like a. Uh, uh, Pirate Band of Misfits. Yeah. Like, kind, of, kind of thing. Yeah, we forgot that one. Yeah. Even came out when we saw the Oscar noms. I mean, the video, last video we did Talking Oscars, that one was the same night we saw Gangster Squad. And yeah. The Oscar list had came out that same day. Yeah. So that's, they literally had a full year before they were going to find out if they were nominated for anything. And, and I would say that the only reason why Pirates... Band of Misfits got on that list was because it was animated and there yeah. wasn't many animated movies out. Although, we had pointed out Hotel Transylvania didn't get on that list and that was really good. Yeah, I not that, sad about that. Not that either of us have seen Pirates Band of Misfits, no. but, although I do like the company that made that movie, so. But yeah, Gangster Squad's really good. Go check it out. I know it's starting to decline in its box office grosses, yeah. and, but go check it out anyways. Gangster Squad is a really good movie. I was kind of disappointed at how many people were there when we went to the advanced oh, yeah. showing. But it was an advanced showing, so... True, but... I don't know. I don't know. I expected more. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised... What is it? A Haunted House? Yeah. Like did so much better its opening weekend. And that movie looks like crap. It looks like another... We're trying to milk the scary movie stuff, even though no one wants to see those anymore. And yeah, they have Marlon Wayans from Scary Movie in it. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like Scary Movie 5. True. I don't really... Those... Because they can. Yeah, because they can. So, we got one more thing we're going to talk about. It's going to wrap up our what we wanted to see in 2012. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Go ahead. Are no, you not going to do it now? I'm going to wait. Go all ahead. Right, all right. Um, and that is The Paperboy. It was the only movie... It was the only. It was the only <laughs> movie in 2012 we didn't actually go see in theaters. It released today on mm -hmm. Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, I picked it up, and we just got done watching it actually. So this 
is as fresh as it gets for us <laughs> as far as watching the movie to and, reviewing the yeah. movie. So we just actually got done watching The Paperboy. See, it's up there and it's here. It's got a little glare on it. Up there and here. Ha ha. Big yeah. Low. We just got done watching The Paperboy and the movie is filmed like it's almost, it's set in the 1960s and it's filmed like it was set in the 1960s. Like they did it then. Yeah. With same all... camera style, same camera look. Yeah. Everything. But it actually, it's one of those movies you watch it and you're interested, you're intrigued, there's a lot of funny moments within the movie, but it also is kind of boring at the same time because there's just a lot of nothing going on at the same time. There's a lot of kind of, I would say like, something that doesn't need to be there. Like, kind of just sitting there and waiting for the next thing to happen. Yeah. Like, like if you were to go, these people are robbing a bank, and then these people are thinking about robbing a bank. All that stuff in between was all just waiting around, waiting for these two things to happen. And that's kind of what happened in this movie. Yeah. Was that there was a, well, this is an interesting beginning, and I kind of know where this end is going to go. And then there was a whole bunch of waiting around in between that. Yeah. It really, it could have been paced better. Um, it could have had a little bit of a faster pace into it. It's still a pretty decent movie. I'd still recommend people see it. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely not one... I Like I told Zach, it's one I would have been willing to have paid to go see in theaters. Yeah. It was at least that good. If you want to check it out, go right ahead. Nicole Kidman got a Oscar nomination for a Golden Globe nomination. What, hold up. What did she get? Golden Globe nomination Golden Globe. Uh, for Best Supporting Actress. And she did. She did a good job. Yeah. And so did Matt, oddly enough. I'm not a huge Matthew McConaughey fan, but he did a good job. Yeah. Zac Efron did a pretty good job in this movie. John Cusack. Well, John Cusack's great in everything he does, but... Whatever. What, did you not like Jack, his performance? No, I just thought it was... We- I thought... <laughs> him doing a Southern... <laughs> it just, it's him doing Southern. It's weird. I know, but I just thought it was funny because I could see Edgar Allan Poe in front of who's doing it. It was really funny. Yeah. Kind of like, like when you were watching Hitchcock and you could hear Hannibal. <laughs> that's kind of what I got from this. <laughs> that, that's kind of what I got from this movie. Yeah. It's like, we are now... <laughs> we are now watching The Raven. Awesome. Good movie. Good movie. Uh, but yeah, Gangster Squad, Paperboy, we liked them both. Go check them out. We'll hit you back up when we have another movie to review. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what movie that's going to be exactly, because I can't actually remember what's all coming out in the no, near future. We got time. Um, but yeah, so from Martin and Zach at the movies, see ya. Yeah, we're doing the bands again. That's how you want to end is with bands. No, here, I can end with this. Exclamation! That's what we get, exclamation. All right, see you later.